So now we're going to add more control joints to the animation rig. So while the original skeleton that we used to capture uh, has a certain number of joints, we can actually add to that from an animation rig point of view uh, to give us more control. So we're going to start by just let's delete joints from one half of the skeleton. So we use the select tool to select the right side here and let's press enter to remove those. So we'll continue to enhance this and then we'll mirror those joints back when we're ready. So the first thing we're going to do is going to right click, put down another skeleton node, and we're going to use this skeleton node to add those extra joints. The first one we're going to do is we're going to use a grid snap and we're going to use create. Okay, so that's good. So we want we're going to click and then middle click. And this is going to put a single joint at the origin. And we're going to use this. Uh, let's go into modify mode. We're going to call this fur dude main. So this is sort of a, in case we want to position the character. And the, the, the COG will get parented to this a little bit later. And we can um, see the joint axes and see that it's aligned with the XYZ. So that's in good shape. So the next thing we're going to do is spacebar B, spacebar B, and we're going to go down to the foot area. And what we want to do is we want to add a heel. So we've got ankle, ball, toe, but we don't have a heel. So we're going to middle click, click on the toe, and we're going to go back and click to place the heel where we need it. Middle click to stop drawing. We're going to modify. We'll take that joint. We'll give it a name. We'll call it left underscore heel and that becomes part of the new uh, rigging skeleton. And we can orient the, um, the it as uh, zero, zero, zero. There we go. So we've got zero, zero, zero as the orientation of that, then that will be good for later. Now we're going to go also go and we're going to go back to create. We're going to middle click to disconnect. And just in front of the eye, we're going to put another uh, joint there. And that's middle click to break that. And we're going to call this the eye underscore target. And so we're going to later use that to um, for the eye as a look at point for the, for the eye. And it also uh, is zero 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 for orientation, so we're actually in good shape there. Now, once we have these, we're going to want to establish a relationship between them and the other uh, joints on the skeleton. So we're going to parent joints, and we're going to start by creating a parent um, between the COG and the Ferdude main. So that's a matter of taking uh, joint one and parenting it to joint two. So we can look at the skeleton or the, the geometry there just for the just to see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let's get joint one, and that will be the COG. Enter, and we're going to select the Ferdude main and enter to place that. So now we've created a parent-child relationship between those two joints. Now similarly, we want the eye target, which just sits out here. Let's select that and press enter. And we want that to be connected to the COG. So as the character walks around, the eye target remains with the character and then only strays from it when you choose to move it. We're going to press tab and we're going to go skeleton mirror again. And in this case here, what we want to do is just like we did before, we only need the leg joints to be mirrored. So we're going to select those and mirror them. And we want them to go from left underscore to right underscore. So this means that all the joints that were in the original skeleton are still here. They're named properly. The difference is we now have two heel joints, an eye target, and a fur dude main. So that's been added in to add more control, and we'll be using those at various various levels uh, within the hierarchy. Now we can feed all that into the rig pose node, um, 
and then we'll be able to see what they all look like and you could begin to manipulate those uh, from there if you want. Now once we have that we can select these nodes uh, and put a network box around them and specifically um, label it as add joints. So we can come back to that or if somebody else is looking at our network they know what those nodes are doing. It's always good to communicate that. The next thing we'll do is we'll set the display flag on the bone to form and we see a little bit of flipping going on uh, with the the toes there. So what we want to do is we need to get back into there and fix that. So what it means is, well we're going back and forth between the two there. If we save the asset you'll see the flipping now occurs on the test geometry as well as the other geometry. So we do need to fix that. So it's just a matter of uh, let's press um, Let's go with the select tool. Bookmark 1 shows us the skeleton here uh, in the test geometry. And we can get the handle tool. We can see all the joints that we create, including the new ones. Uh, so the joints are working properly. Uh, it's just the flipping of the toenails suggests that there's an orientation issue um, for the toes, which we can now go and fix. So we jump to, which will get us back to there. We go back to the skeleton node, select that toe joint there, and press, let's get focus in on that, and we'll go P to bring up the this window here, and this is where we need those to be, 0, 0, 0. And that, uh, oh, they got knocked off a little bit there. That one actually looks like it should be 90. Oh, no, negative 90. And that fixes it. So just a little bit of a orientation issue there. But that's all fixed. Now that lines things up the way that they already were. And now we can save the asset. And you'll see that that flips and that fixes over on the other skeleton as well. So you now got the two versions of the skeleton. We've got all the new joints, and they are ready to be sort of broken apart and re-put back together uh, as the the rig that we'll use to animate. Of course, we can't manipulate anything yet because we haven't promoted any of the parameters, but we'll do that soon.